A question came up on our Facebook feed recently. My doctor said this is a normal MRI for a 45 year old. Please can you tell me if this is normal? And all my pain, stiffness and walking issues are all in my head. Okay, so this is a very common issue or very common misconception that people have is that there is a strong correlation between imaging findings and people's symptoms. Just because you have mild degenerative changes in your low back does not mean that you will have mild to no symptoms. And on the other side of the coin, just because you've got heavy amounts or, or severe amounts of degenerative changes in your low back doesn't mean that you will suffer high levels of pain and disability. It just doesn't work like that. So I answered the person, tapped away, actually put together a video that explains the most common findings in, in MRI, put them into context. So um, I'll put the link up in the corner of the video, probably up there somewhere, I think. Yeah, I'm just seeing where my finger's pointing. Uh, pop it up there and you can have a look. We put a search in for correlation between pain and imaging findings. And we came up, I just clicked on three random articles at the top here. The first of which we look at the conclusion, it says follow up MRI findings consistent with, and then we've got Furman grading, disc bulging and HIZ, that's high intensity zone if you're interested. All three of those are looking at the degenerative changes in discs, spondylolisthesis, that's if the if you look at the spine from the side, if that's shifted forwards a little bit, and any types of mode changes. So all of these different things looking at degenerative changes in the low back were not associated with low back pain history uh, during the 10 years between the baseline and follow-up study. So they took MRIs at the beginning, they took MRIs probably in between and then at the end, and they found that the changes in the MRI findings in all those different things that looking at the discs and looking at the joints and the spine in general did not associate or correlate with the pain of that particular person. And we look at the second one, get me back on screen. Degenerative changes in the lumbar spine are frequent MRI findings, but do not correlate with the intensity of pain and do not predict neuropathic pain. And then we go on to the third one. Our study shows that the MRI degenerative findings we examined individually or in combination do not have clinically important associations with low back pain. You can see there that all three of those studies, and I'm sure if we look down all the others, if we wanted to spend the whole evening together, we could read research together. I would say I'd almost bet my mortgage on that there were very few to no studies that found that correlation between symptoms and imaging findings. So I didn't want this person to be sitting there thinking, well, just because there's nothing on my MRI or it's a very normal looking MRI, that all of my symptoms and, and physical disability is completely psychological. That's not the case. God damn right. We talked through some options for this person and we said that perhaps it'd be great for them to, or advantageous for them to go and see an osteopath, a chiropractor, or a manual therapist of some kind, who would sit them down, take a full thorough history, do a good thorough examination, physical examination, and then they would be able to put the history and the examination findings into context with those imaging findings and hopefully come up with a plan of how to make some progress and improve a situation. If you do have any questions, you put them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.